What's going on YouTube family? Garrett Ozell back at you guys with another video today. Today I want to go over the top reasons people fail on Amazon. Top five reasons actually. And there's various reasons people fail on Amazon, but I'm going to go over the most common ones, the most common questions I get, and the most common problems I see people having when they're trying to get their Amazon business up and running. So for the first major problem people have is understanding the fees and profit margins on Amazon. First off, you need to understand your fees, like storage fees, the fees they take out when you sell the products, the fees of shipping the uh, stuff into Amazon. There's tons of different fees people don't know about that who are just beginning that they need to know to be able to determine the profit margin of their products, okay? You want to know your profit margin um, you always want your profit margin to be about five, six, seven, eight dollars per unit at least. Um, if it's under even six or seven dollars, I wouldn't mess with it because you're going to be dealing with PPC and there's just not going to be enough room there for you to actually find a good product that's going to build your a full time income is what you're actually aiming for. So I suggest everyone, I'll actually make another video on this, the fees uh, involved with selling on Amazon. That's a a major thing people never understand because they'll get their first product in, they'll start selling, and then all of a sudden they'll get their first payout from Amazon. They'll be like, how come I'm not making as much as I thought I would? It's because they didn't understand the fees going into it. So they probably just looked like, oh, I'm going to buy this product from China for $2 and sell it for 12 on Amazon. I'm going to make a $10 profit. It doesn't work that way. Amazon takes out a lot of fees, oftentimes 30-40% depending on which category you're in. So you're going to need to understand that when starting. Okay. Next, another big mistake people make is not doing the proper product research and finding their initial product. Sometimes people will find products that are restricted or products that in categories that they're gated in. You need to make sure you ask Amazon before you even purchase this product. You need to call them up and ask if you have permission to sell in that category or that specific product. There's certain products that are banned from being able to be sold on Amazon. Um, like a common one are these cat laser pointers. You're not allowed to sell them on there. People still try and you can risk getting your account banned or getting suspended. So you don't want to do that and you do not want to invest in a product that you're not going to be able to sell on Amazon. That's a major thing I see people lose money is they're buying products that they're restricted in and then you know you're shit out of luck once you get it. Um, so there's really nothing you can do. You could try to sell it on Amazon or sell it in bulk on Craigslist but you need to make sure you know that you're able to sell the product you're ordering. Okay. Third biggest mistake I see people make is they don't know how to launch their product correctly, okay? You need to go step by step. I just made a video on how to launch a product. Go check it out. Um, you need to understand what you're doing when you're launching a product because if you're not getting it ranked onto the first page, unless this product is super in need and super in demand, you're not going to be getting a lot of organic sales. The only sales you're going to be seeing are from PPC and that eats into your profit. Your, your number one goal needs to be getting your product to the first page so you can make as much sales as possible. So make sure you guys learn as much about launching your product before you actually do. After you have bought in the product, make sure you're just watching videos on how to la launch it correctly. And if you guys know exactly the steps to take in order to launch your product correctly, then you guys should have no problem, okay? Number four reason people fail on Amazon is buying products with low margin. A lot of people make the mistake is going back to the first mistake they make is not understanding the fees, okay? You have to un go to FBA calculator and search up the item you're going to sell, put in the profit that or the cost of the product and put in how much you're paying for it and it will it'll put the fees involved and it'll show you your profit margin, okay? You want to have at least a 50% profit margin. I would say stay above the $15.99 to $16 range when you're going uh, to be what you're looking at pricing your product. I'd say if you can get over $20 per unit, that's the best way to go. So understand that if you have a product with a $5 profit margin, after PPC, you know, your margins get very, very slim. So you want to be choosing products that, let's say you can make a $12 profit margin on, spend three on PPC to get a sale, and you're still making $9 profit. So you want to make sure you understand products with 
low margin products with high margin. Do not go with the products with low margin. You need to make sure that you're staying at least above $8 profit per unit. Okay, guys? And number five, biggest reason I see people fail is they're, they're just not scaling their business, okay? They get one product and they get successful with one product. They're making three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars per month. And they're like, oh, cool, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna go travel. Um, I don't have to work anymore. This is gonna last forever. A lot of times, people, products don't last forever. Sometimes it's seasonal, sometimes it's a fad. You have to make sure that you continuously keep adding new products to your. Um, to your business so even if one stops selling as well or it stops selling completely you still have more products that are all part of your business because if you're only doing it for one product you're really not building a business you just are almost just flipping that one product over and over again you want to I'd say a safe place to be is once you get five products then you can start taking some time off but I'd say keep growing it and growing it because there's really no downside in adding more products. Your, your income is just going to continue to go up and up and up. There's private label sellers out there with 100, 200 different items. And those are the guys that are really making millions every single year. So I encourage every single one of you, after you get your first product up and running, take the money you make off of that product, invest in a new one, and just keep doing that effect over and over and over again. And pretty soon you're going to see your income go from 2000 a month to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 I've done it myself. It took me about two months after my first product to get my second. I'm on about my seventh product and I have my eighth one coming in. So it's been going great for me. And my goal by the end of this year is to have 25 to 30 products up and running. And so I'm super excited for that. So always look for ways to scale your business, keep growing and just keep moving forward and never be satisfied with what you have right now. Okay guys, um, these are the five biggest reasons people fail. I hope you gained some value from this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Go check out my other videos. Um, and leave your questions in the comments. What questions do you guys have for me? I'm here to help you guys out. Let me know what more videos you guys want to see from me. I'm willing to do it all for you guys. My goal is to help every single one of you quit your 9 to 5 job and live this Amazon lifestyle that's really just changed my life completely. So again, stay tuned for more videos. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow.